Kia ora koutou, my name is Aroha Novak and thank you for having me. Um, I am a graduate of the Dunedin School of Art and you can start me off. Um, here's some images of some of the work that I've done over the past four years. I graduated um, majoring in sculpture but have moved through other fields and I'm here to talk about my involvement with the South Dunedin Community Pop-Up Hub which is coming up. No. Um, so this is the old housing hall which is before it was um, refurbished. It's on um, Hillside Road and the DCC contracted me as an artist to work as a part of the pilot scheme for Art A Toy. So it's um, the arts and infrastructure policy in practical terms. So I was inserted into this project development team. Um, this is an interior and exterior view and my artist brief was to provide creative input to the design of the pop-up hub to achieve great design, give it a South Dunedin flavour and help customise the hub space. So um, from my personal perspective I really wanted to reflect the South Dunedin community um, within the design and incorporate biculturalism into the space and reflect the demographic of the South Dunedin. So uh, the Potama pattern you see is a particular design that signifies the growth of man striving upwards and reaching a summit which was good to use as an underlying concept for the creative input. Um, so I use that as the carpet design for the inside of the space. Um, I also knew I wanted to create a vibrant, welcoming and colourful space for the community to enjoy. Um, another thing that I really wanted to happen was to co-opt other artists who had links to the area or projects related to the area. So up on the left, that's a Janet DeWatt painting, James Bellany painting, Marian Wasson, a line of cut, Kath Cocker, um, pictures of Carisbrook, but there is also a poem by Peter Olds, uh, photographs by Murray Eskdale, work from Bathgate Park Schools and a tarpa cloth um, donated by a former library student, uh, library staff member called Mel Maulio Wallace. Um, uh, and so here's a map of South Dunedin which I found in the McNabb reference collection, took a photo of it, turned it into a notice board, stuck it in the hub um, to give it a point of reference. Um, here's some works by Bathgate Park pupils and Janet DeWatt was really influential and she was my mentor for this project and she is the artist in residence at Bathgate Park School. So she helped me get these um, works from the Bathgate Park students. This wall on the left is going to be a community exhibiting space eventually next year um, and anyone will be able to go in there and exhibit work. So this is the finished site, this is the inside used as a library and the exterior um, and the logo uh, also references that Potama Tukutuku panel design. And this was the opening event of the site and there's a lot of people who are on the project team. Bernie Hawke who is the um, library manager is speaking at the podium but there was a whole lot of other people I just want to mention Jane Neville, Cara Patterson, Andrea Jones, Anne-Marie Wigley, Simon Pickford, Nick Orbell, Nicola Pinvold, Linda Geddes, um, Emma Caritas, Liz Knowles and Casey Thomas were all on the project development team and it was a great experience. Thank you. Thank you.